So here you are. You are in Pleasanton. Let's say in St. Louis. Let's say in Southern California. And you are this pious woman. Real pious woman. Everybody knows. MashaAllah. And then they accused you of the most painful, degrading accusation a woman can have. Oh, she has an affair. What will happen to you? Everybody is talking. It's the talk of the town. Everyone. But no one say this to you. But you can see it. You can feel it. You know, you, they, you come in and they stop talking. And then your husband come to you. And they say, to, he says to you in your face, in front of your fa father and mother, tell me, if you did it, ask Allah to forgive you. Feel what I'm saying. And if you didn't do it, say it. What would you say? Honestly. Hasbi Allah wa ni'ma al-wakil. If you know this in the Arabic language, when you say Hasbi Allah wa ni'ma al-wakil, meaning you have given up, and I'm not going to even answer, and may Allah punish you. Because Sayyidina Ibrahim said that when he was thrown in the fire. What else you will do? Anxiety, panic attack, you're going to cry. Am I right? Angry, how dare, what do you think of me? Look at yourself. Whose story was this? What did she answer? That's what I need to hear. To me, this is the best. In all the stories of Sayyidina Aisha, everything you know about Sayyidina Aisha, this is story. Tell me what a strong woman should be. What a woman of Allah should be. And one, what a woman of opinion should be. What did she say? And who said that to her was a Rasul alayhi salatu I will be dead. Every time I read this, I, I just can't imagine. I'm a woman, you are a woman. You know how painful is this? Let alone you're innocent, let alone it's coming from your husband, let alone your husband is the best of the creation. Alayhi salatu You want to be a woman of Allah? You want to be the best? What did she say? The meaning. She said this to her father, mother, and husband. Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Umm Ruman. She said, it's already in your heart. And if I said, I am innocent, and Allah knows I am innocent, see what came out of the mouth. You will not believe me. And if I say I did it, and I didn't do it, you will believe me. And I'm not going to say a word other than what the father of Yaqub, she couldn't even, father of Yaqub, that's exact, she couldn't even remember his name, said. And she turned her back to Rasul Alayhi and to Sayyidina Abu Bakr, her father, and to Umm Roman, and said, Beautiful patient, and Allah will help me about what you are saying about me. And she turned her back, and then she said, Wallahi, I never thought, look at this, I never thought I am, she, worthy in the sight of Allah that he will send the Qur'an to be recited till the end of the time to tell me I am innocent. And then immediately that page of Surah An-Nur إِنَّ الَّذِينَ جَاءُوا بِالْإِفْكِ أُصْبَةٌ مِّنْكُمْ لَا تَحْسَبُوهُ شَرًّا لَكُمْ بَلْ هُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ لِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مِّنْهُمْ مَكْتَسَبَ مِنَ الْإِثْمِ وَالَّذِي تَوَلَّى كِبَرَهُ مِنْهُمْ and she said, I could see Rasul Quran is being revealed because he changed. And you know what happens to him when Quran was revealed. And then he starts smiling. 
And he looked at her and he said, Nazar, the meaning of your innocence came from, the, from Allah, from the heavens. So her father and her mother, Qumi, get up, go to Rasul She said, no, I am only gonna thank the one who sent my innocence. It's Allah. Where are you from that example? Woman, 2022, live in the United States, live in California, educated, you have everything. Where are you from this? How can I be like the finger of Sayyid Aisha? You know what's the issue? It's me. It's my nafs. It's me. Everything is way more. I say this to me. I'm talking to me, not to you. Everything in this life is more important than him. I think of everyone else first and then him. I only think of him when I need him. Learn about Allah and turn to Allah at time of prosperity. He will know you at time of adversity. That's a Sayyidah Aisha.